What's up, everybody? You know me, I'm BC. Welcome back to another episode of Beach Block Feed the Beast Infinity 1.10, but is. So, I finally recovered. I went through, I got all the stuff done I needed. Um, I think, as far as I could tell. Back up and running, I did a lot of terraforming. Trying to set this up proper. I think we got a pretty good look, though, now. We got it nice and spacious and as you can see I also made a bunch of the floating white flowers just to get some light around here just because it's floating it looks really cool I don't know I don't know buddy but yeah we also just had a creeper explosion which took out this mana pool he's almost recovered now I took out the mana pool and broke this one glimmering wood and I'm not sure but it all went bad Okay, first things first, I have, I made some extra floating white flowers, and I wanted to endo flame them, just so my endo flames were looking really cool too. I don't need to do it in there, so I'm just going to make match this with that, and there we are, and now we have a floating endo flame. Does the same work, except it's floating, it's pretty slick. So what I want to do is go through, we are wasting a little bit of mana by breaking all these right now, but I think it's going to be worth it. So now let's get that. There, let's quit wasting our time. Start collecting mana again. Pretty cool looking, I think. I think that will do. Get that charcoal back in there. So the endo flame all works for everything. They are all hooked up. I check my distributors, to make sure one's not being overworked, but they look pretty good. And another thing I think we should do is well, first this guy. Look at this. This here is a living wood avatar, really easy to make. Get one of them. And this guy's great because with with redstone, I mean, I mean, not redstone. Let's put him here. There. He can hold rods. Whoop. I think you can hold rods. I made some abstruse platforms as well. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I want to. Can I? I thought you could like click them, shift right click them, shift left click them. Maybe not. With the rod of the seas, maybe. Stop that again. Hmm. Because this guy's really cool because he can hold rods, and if you shoot mana into him, he can. Maybe he needs mana first? Um, why don't we just test here? I definitely have lots of living rock. Two of them, and I think we have some mana spreaders. A bunch. Put that there. Another mana spreader here. This is just a test. Now that he has mana, can we check how much he has? It doesn't look like this rod will work. That's too bad. Because I'm trying to automate my snow production. And I wanted to do it with Batania, not, you know, not the. Right-click dispenser stuff and all that fun. 
you know. Uh, maybe the dispenser will have to use the rattle of the seas. I don't think so, though, but I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. It's worth a try. Let me just stop this before it does something silly. Whoa, I almost showed you something I didn't want to show you. Oh. Okay, now it's not going to be working, right? Perfect. Okay. Before we go down here and take a look at what I have planned for today, it is time to upgrade. Uh, what are these? Drying racks. Uh, let's make a couple more. And for some reason, it only says those are the good ones, but. Twenty more. What is that? Spice rack, huh? Okay, let's make a couple more. So this will be my wall of old armor. That's what I think we should do here. Put that guy there. I'll take that. Let's go back. Okay. So shovel okay and then the big thing here besides my full inventory sorry that's all I can do right now because of what we're doing today is it's time to put this stuff I believe well we might have to use it still but Forgot about all my bonuses I have from it. Holy. Make that. One, two, three. Come on. Put the armor down. And I'll put it on again. Don't shift click. There. And let's upgrade here. So <coughs> we want Terra Steel. Uh -huh. Hopefully we, ha I don't think I have enough mana for it. Oh man. Okay, let's see here. So we want chest piece. Important. But also something when you see this chest piece, we also Let's just see what we have ready for it. Nothing. So you, let's make one of you. Just like I said, because I have so much Iridium Shards now, we could do this. And I swear I just made a jetpack. I did. And then... Let's make it with there. Perfect, right? And then today we also we need to make one more. Do I have anything? Oh, good. And we want to put the elytra on it this time. So we are. So let's get this guy. And you can't put the elytra on it. I'm really getting elyt elytra screwed on this, aren't I? Oh, man. Okay, anyway. We will deal with that later. We also want our Terra... Terra hat. Need three Terra boots. Three. So, I need some more Terra steel. Take a look here. I've been trying to get rid of all the darkness. Like 
charge this guy up now. Of course, I put it on. Here we are. And this is just to hold us off. We don't need this jetpack soon. As soon as we get ourselves our flyer from Batania, would be good. Good enough for right now. Come on, quit wasting my time. Take a nap. Terra Steel. So what do we need for Terra Steel? We will need some Mana Pearl. Mana Diamond. And Mana Steel. I don't know how much mana I have. Okay, well, we built up for mana. I was thinking, I did see this over here. It's a little old now. Kraken made this a little while ago, but I think we should give it a try. Do not fly, no breaking, leave all items. So we'll start with that. Drop everything we got. We'll probably drop our armor too so we don't get murdered i don't know why we drop everything because i've seen people do it so far i've watched uh jt and rb go through and they both didn't die so that's good maybe i'm the bad luck one that will die who knows okay so how this works besides chickening out oh can't keep going so we got three ways to go one way takes us back oh can't even jump here okay so we just basically move in directions until, I think for the first level, see, we're back up to the first spot again, until we get to a corner. Oh, look at that. We found a corner already. This will take us back if we're checking out and we wuss out. I think, why don't we, rule number one, we go left every time. Let's see how that works. So left. We have a choice. We're here. Go left. We're there. So this is a different one, though. So why don't we go left again? See, if you look in the map here, we're in the top right corner right now. So here we go left. And top right corner again. So let's just check that one more time. Left. And left. Yeah, back in the corner. So this time, left. And right. We're in the bottom corner. Let's go left and left. Back to the top right corner. Uh huh. Left and right will take us to here. That's there. So let's go left and right this time. And then if you jump, you can see actually where we're trying to get to. We want to be there. So, in theory, if we want to get there, we'll go this way. And we will go this way. Oh, that looked like we were almost there. Now we're a million miles away. Okay, we've been keep going that way. Let's go this way this time. Nope. <laughs> Kraken. Okay, bottom. We'll go th this way to the right. No. Or the right seems like a bad choice. Go back here. Then we go right. We look around. Where are we? That's where we need to go. Let's go this way. It's right there. So we go this way. It's right here. The only way to get there is this side. So this might do it. If we go this way, we're going back to that corner there. If we go this way, it might take us where we want to go. That was a lot of movement, so I don't think it took us where we want to go. This one might. Look, you can see it wrapping around-ish. Let's check it out. Oh, it's right. Oh, we made it. 
Oh man, that was good. Easy peasy. So what do we got? Dragonheart looked good. Uh, atomic disassembler. Saving electric bow. Angelic feather. And elytra. See, my plan was it's going to take the elytra. Because I have one already, but I kind of wanted... Maybe you could do it with an anvil... But I don't know anything about reliquary mechanism. I already just made a cool. My sword is a bow. Uh, good pickaxe already. So the dragon heart or the elytra. I think we'll go elytra, guys. We'll go with something good. So that was awesome. Thanks, crack buddy. That was good. We are back. Let me grab my stuff. And I'm going to head back. And see how close we are to getting our mana done. But we need to automate our runes is what we need to do. So down here, I've cleared out this whole area. I don't know exactly what we want to do with it yet. But with the Terra Shatterer, we're in between A and S. Durability 2300, which really doesn't matter because it doesn't get damaged. But So that's doing really good. We have... A 5x5 five five block we're clearing out now. And I also built the Stone of Temperance. So I think when I activate it, the Terra Shatterer will only do a 3x3. Three three. And when I disactivate it, deactivate it, it will do my 5x5. Five five. Pretty awesome. So we don't have enough mana for that. So what we need to do, I've got this guy here. And I've gone ahead and I have set up each pattern for the first two tiers of runes. Right there. So we got fire, earth, air, spring. Oh, and water. Then spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And I also made the mana one. That's your mana. There we go. We got the full group. But how we want to do this to make this work right is we need... Why don't we... This is going to be bad. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Let me just... Oh. I want to hit my head on. Oh, yeah. Put these guys away again. We don't need them. Don't need the platform. None of you. There. Now hopefully I have enough to grab this because I just don't want to lose all those. Yeah. So why don't we aim it this way? I want the crafter there. Okay, buddy. So here we are. So I have the crafter set up. It's facing this way into the open crate. In between, I'm going to slide in one of these fancy little hoppers. I also want a hopper on this side, and I'm going to put all my living rock in here. Oh, yeah. Also, let me get this next part done then. I'm going to put two pieces of redstone right here and a redstone torch here. That will stop that from dropping. That's good. And then we need what's this in here? Two redstone there. Right here, right underneath the open crate, we want to put in the dispenser first. This is where we put our one of the forest. Above that, we want the runic altar. The one of the forest in the dispenser with Batania. Gives you the right click mode. So that is pretty cool. Down here, we're going to put our timer. We're going to set it to 20. I'll try that one more time. 20. To make sure she's running good. In here, we already have, of course, our patterns. 
And last but not least, right here, we have a comparator. So when we craft something, let's do it quick. So we want to check our runes out. If we craft, what do we need? Let's make a rune of winter. We are missing two snow. That's easy to fix. Snow. There we are. Now you want the rune of winter. We'll make one. Everything's available. Let's start it off. Let's crop down here. And you see it right away dropping everything into position. So... The crafter just tells it, oh, if you put all these into this hopper, this is what we're getting. I did notice you can't put more than, you can't make it more than one at a time. The whole system kind of gets a little screwy if you make it all one at a time. More than one at a time. An oven mana spreader with our mana there. And yeah, pretty easy to do. Super quick, super easy. It's a stackable, of course. You could put this guy on the middle side. You could probably do this all in one straight line. A little extreme for me. I don't think I need that many because I only need to do every rune. You only need two, two crafters. We'll need one more crafter. I'll probably just set it sideways into here. Maybe right on this side here. But as long as it goes into the hopper, we'll be good. But yeah, guys, perfect. We have it good to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't, you better subscribe, buddy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya, butter.